as of 8.5 million men across Europe, with a further 7.8 million missing in action. And of those who returned home, many forensically scarred. There was scarcely, there was scarcely a family anywhere in Germany not directly of the period, among them Robert Musso, Arthur Schnitzler, Frank Wedekind, 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 Hugo von Hofmanns, Robert Walser, Thomas Mann, and Franz Kafka, to devote themselves to exploring the mental and often sexual coming of age of young men in a world that took little interest in their development. As individuals, as, be, as they began writing to Dada in 1919, only a year after the closing of the First World War, which had devastated Europe with unprecedented violence. This war, fought with the modern machinery of airplanes, tanks, and bombs, took the lives of 8.5 million men across Europe to the further 7.8 million missing in action. And of those who returned home, many were physically and psychologically scarred. There was that. scarcely, there was scarcely. Reading and meditating on Hermann Hesse's Siddhartha. Reading one. That was a year ago. And so now, I'm going to continue reading it. it is, uh, it's a new translation by Suzanne Bernofsky of Hermann Hesse's Siddhartha. 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 With an introduction by Tom Robbins. Mm, I, <clears throat> I read some of the beginning of that book a year ago where it talks about Herman Hess, the person. And um, then I went over to the introduction that was what I was reading by Tom Robbins and then uh, perhaps I got to the translator's preface I'm thinking of <clears throat> just going back to the beginning again and reading it from the start to make sure I got it right okay Herman has this is a new translation by Susan Bernofsky. It's lucid and elegant, and it reflects a great talent and careful work. Because the previous translations, I guess they were okay. They did get the job done, but. <clears throat> there may have been some could have been could have been done better because the original is in German and uh, this may be an improvement on the previous translation. Well, <clears throat> we'll see about that. Well, there is a way to compare the translations. For example, now I'm not sure hmm, who translated the earliest English translation. But I went into Kindle and downloaded a few versions. So I got several versions of Herman Hesse's Siddhartha. I even found it on a, on a website for free, a version 
at Gut Gutenberg, the library. Let's see what this version is like. Let's see. Oh, wow. That's interesting. This is a version in Spanish. Mm. El Hijo del Brahman. A la sombra de la casa y bajo el sol, a la orilla del río y junto a las barcas, a la sombra del bosque de sauces y el huerto de higueras, creció Siddhartha, el hermoso hijo del Brahman, el joven halcón, en compañía de Govinda, amigo suyo y también hijo de un Brahman. It starts like that in Spanish. But I want to see uh, another version. Let's see. The son of the Brahman, in the shade of the house, in the sunshine of the river bank, near the boats, in the shade of the salwood forest, in the shade of the fig tree is where Siddhartha grew up, the handsome son of the Brahman, the young falcon, together with his friend Govinda, son of a Brahman. Uh, there is a... The second chapter with the Samanas is interesting to see a little bit further into it. Um, where is it? No, it's probably. Okay, right here. This is an interesting paragraph to compare translations. Instructed by the oldest of the Samanas, Siddhartha practiced self-denial, practiced meditation according to new Samana rules. A heron flew over the bamboo forest and Siddhartha accepted the heron into his soul, flew over forests and mountains, was a heron, ate fish, felt the pangs of a heron's hunger, spoke the heron's croak, died a heron's death. A dead jackal was lying on the sandy bank, and Siddhartha's soul Slipped inside the body was the dead jackal, lay on the banks, got bloated, stank, decayed, was dismembered by hyenas, was skinned by vultures, turned into a skeleton, turned to dust, was blown across the fields, and Siddhartha's soul returned. Had died, had decayed, was scattered as dust, had tasted the gloomy intoxication of the cycles. I waited in new thirst like a hunter in the gap where he could escape from the cycle where the end of the causes where in an eternity without suffering began. He killed his senses. He killed his memory. He slipped out of his self into thousands of other forms. Was an animal. Was a carrion. Was a stone. Was wood. Was water. 
and awoke every time to find his old self again. Sun shone or moon was his self again. Turned round in the cycle, felt thirst, overcame thirst, felt new thirst. That's an interesting uh, translation of that one. I'm going to... Tiene dolor? Hmm.